to a pinpoint weather alert. These dry conditions have prompted a red flag warning for an increased fire risk. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca joining me tonight. Tony, as we take this beautiful look at downtown Newport, we have another beautiful sunny weekend on deck, but people need to be careful with bonfires, things like that, right? Yes, yeah, sources of ignition, uh, burning of leaves and fire pits and things like that. You're right. So uh, now the weather not creating brush fires, but the conditions that we're forecasting tomorrow, if brush fires were to develop, they would spread very rapidly. And here's the reason why the combination of very low humidity, gusty breezes out of the north northwest, 25 30 miles per hour, dry soil and dry brush. So the entire area is shaded in red. It is a red flag warning. And as mentioned, you, you can't do any of this. The outdoor burning, the burning of leaves and, and fire pits, discarding cigarettes and things like that have to be very, very careful as dry, blustery conditions anticipated for tomorrow. So here's the setup. The dry stretch continues. We're in a, a bit of a drought. This is one of the driest autumns we've had in, in quite some time. We're talking little to no rain at least into next week for the next seven days. Weekend sunshine, outdoor activities go ahead. Milder, though windy on Saturday, 64, 10 10 degrees cooler with bright sunshine, chilly on Sunday. And despite the, the chilly temperatures come Sunday and Monday, here we go again by next Wednesday, Halloween Thursday, we start to see unseasonably warm temps return. So temperatures tomorrow afternoon, not too bad, but chilly Sunday and Monday. We transition Tuesday and here we go again. Look at this very unusual Wednesday, especially Halloween Thursday and potentially into Friday unseasonably warm temperatures in the 70s. Cold front to our west. Normally when fronts come through, you get some precipitation, but not this one that's too dry. It'll come through quiet tomorrow in terms of precipitation. Sunshine, windy, dry tomorrow afternoon, about 64 for the high temp. Heading out on a Saturday night, clear skies in the upper 40s at around 9 o'clock. Plenty of sunshine on Sunday, but somewhat chilly, only mid to upper 50s. But it's a dry day, the wind perhaps not as gusty. Sunday night is dry again, and then chilly on Monday. Sunshine starting off in the 30s, but we'll struggle to get to 55 degrees on Monday. And that's with sunshine. Let's backtrack to tomorrow morning hour by hour cool start now there'll be a few extra clouds early in the morning later in the morning increasing sunshine and increasing wind by 11 a.m the temperature is 60 outdoor activities okay looking all right if you can find a spot out of the breeze it'll feel a little nicer but a blustery day sunshine very dry low humidity temperature between about 63 and 64 boaters we're looking at a northwest wind very gusty 15 20 knots gusting to 25 30 knots uh, sunday sunshine chilly patriots game looks bright but very cool kind of chilly on monday but dry and then here comes that warm up again wednesday halloween thursday potentially into friday with temperatures in the 70s could be one of the warmest halloweens on record we'll keep you updated Nice weekend and still on the dry side. And again, that red flag warning. Yep. Just be careful with any kind of burns outside. Exactly. All right, Tony, thank you. 76 degrees. Yeah, that's not Halloween. That's like Bristol. That's wet. Br Bristol for the July. July. Yeah, I was going to say. I'm going to say that's like an, uh, late August. Yeah. But it's been beautiful weather for football. It huh? has. And apparently it's going to continue into the last week of the regular season from well, see next you're week. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Every week I give him his props and he deserves it because he's great. And we get warm weather, yeah. especially for tonight. It was a beautiful night. We have lots of highlights for.